This is the MH-65 Coast Guard helicopter. It was one of the two helicopters the Coast Guard used to during uh, Katrina rescues. Standard crew of four people, two pilots, one flight mech, one rescue swimmer. For our rescue operations, we have a very important tool that we use. It's a hydraulic powered uh, hoist, uh, usually capable of hoisting up to 600 pounds. Typical kind of gear that we use to pick people up, we have a, a rescue basket where we can stick people in the basket and set them up, or we have straps. And what a strop is, is a piece of material that uh, comes around a person's torso, hooks up to the hoist uh, and me at the same time. We both go up and I can stabilize that person while we're going up. This right here is a hand axe. This is what I use to uh, go through the roof on one of my first rescues. This went through a roof and two roofing frames. By the time I was done, I was uh, pretty tired, uh, but we did save the people that were inside the attic. The Coast Guard teaches standardization throughout the entire Coast Guard. We follow certain rules, certain ways, certain procedures, all to a T. The reason we do this is we can go to different air stations, get into a crew from that air station, that could be from somewhere else, and we can do our job perfectly. Hurricane Katrina proved that standardization through the Coast Guard is an absolute must. I jumped into a helicopter with two pilots from Alaska and a flight mech from Clearwater, Florida. Went out, saved lives, no problem whatsoever because we knew exactly how to do our job because we trained the exact same way. I was taught the importance of being professional in your job and being standard in your job and it pays off.